right here's a bunch of different mods that I've got stacked up right here. Now, I'm going to show you how to farm some of them. Not all of them, because I don't have enough time to do that. But I can show you where you can get a bunch of them at. Now, this video is going to have a bunch of information. But we're going to start from the beginning and work our way towards more end, middle end game-ish. Where you're going to start farming up some of these mods. And I'll show you the first set of mods you can farm up. We're going to go for Aura Mods, and they're probably the easiest to grab out of here. Aura Mods, if you don't know what they are already, they're for Warframes. They go in this spot right up here in the top. Now you can see down here we got the tab Aura. You're going to click on that. You're going to see, if you have any Aura Mods, a bunch of these right down here. So we've got things like, let's say, Deadeye gives you extra sniper rifle damage. And for this polarity slot right there, I could put physique up there. It gives me a little bit extra health. You know, yada yada. Where can you get these mods at? Actually, you can get a bunch of these war mods by opening up your menu. Go down here to Nora's Nightwave. And then you want to go to crit offerings. And we're going to scroll down a little bit. And you can see that she's got a few aura mods in here already. So we've got Rifle Scavenger. We've got Energy Siphon, which is pretty nice, especially if you're starting out in Warframe. It gives you a little bit of extra energy regen for you and your teammates. We got Sniper Scavenger, and then we've got Rifle Amp. Increased rifle damage by 27%. Now you want to make sure you're checking in here every couple of days because she does have a rotation. So these might not be here, and it might have a whole set of new mods for you to pick up. Now let's talk about a group of mods that's a little bit more time consuming to pick up. So if you come up here to the front of your ship and go over here to your syndicates, click on the one that you're currently working with. You can click in there, go to view offerings, and there's a mod tab right there. Now they're going to have some special mods there, but if you go down, you can actually pick up augment mods for certain Warframes, like Arbiters of Hexus, you can get Harrow, you can get some Alimbo stuff in here, you can get Mirage. Now, if you haven't started working with an actual Syndicate yet, you might want to look and say, say you're wanting an augment mod for Necros, you might want to look over here at the Red Veal. Let's open up them. You can actually just type in Necros up here. They're not very happy with me right now, but you can see you can get Necros' augment mods here. Now let's talk about a different set of mods. We're going to go with Corrupted Mods on this run. So we got Spoiled Strike. Now that's a Corrupted Mod. It's got a plus and a negative. So it gives you a plus 100% melee damage and minus 20% attack speed. Some of the more popular mods are like Narrow Minded, Blind Rage, Transient Fortitude, so on and so forth. Those mods are all Corrupted Mods and I'll show you how to get those real quick. Now before we can actually start farming these mods, you got to make sure you're in a clan and let's go to our dojo. Now, once you finally load into your dojo, we want to go to the Orkin Lab. So down here, let's go ahead and fast travel there. Now to backtrack a little bit, this is what your Orkin Lab looks like. Go up here to your terminal. And then you've got four blueprints that you're going to have to pick up here. you got the Bleeding, Decaying, Extinguished, and Hobbled Dragon Key. Pick those up, head back to your Orbiter. Now you gotta go to your foundry and search up dragon keys and it doesn't take too long it takes about a minute you got void traces and ferrite is what is required to make these let's go ahead and craft one just to show you that see 59 seconds so no need to rush it unless you really want to spend one platinum then after you get at least one of each craft you got a total of four let's go ahead and head over to our arsenal go through your gear wheel and you're going to equip all four of those dragon keys one of each to warn you these do have effects on your warframe negative effects so you've got health is greatly reduced by the bleeding you got extinguish which reduces your damage you got decaying which reduces your shields and you've got hobbled which slows you down okay now that you got that all set let's head over here to deimos and the mission that i like to run you can run anyone on here to actually enter one of these vaults but i like running horns since it's just a capture go ahead and capture your target and then focus on finding the vault and i'll show you what the vault looks like get him done and then i can go find the door now what you're looking for is a door that looks like this you're just going to walk up to it use one of your keys go up to this little glowing orb and then extract then once you finally extract, you'll be able to see what that little hidden item was. We got Tainted Clip, which is plus 10% magazine capacity. Let's hover back over it again. Minus 5% reload speed. So now that's a corrupted mod. You have a chance, like I said, to get Blind Rage, Narrow Minded, Transient Fortitude. The good mods that everybody's looking for. They are a pain to farm though. Very time consuming, but it's doable. So that was corrupted mods. Let me show you where you can pick up a few ribbon mods. And for this, we're going to be taking advantage of our Riven Slivers. So you can get these from opening Requiem Relics, or you can get them from killing Exodus units and missions. That's probably one of the most common places you'll pick them up from. But to be able to spin your Riven Slivers, you got to make sure you have the Chains of Harrow quest completed. Now, once that quest is done, you'll have access to Earth. Here, there's a little spot called Iron Wake. And once you land here, we're going to go all the way to the back. So just jump over all this crap. And there's a set of doors back here in the back. Go through here and let's talk to the Red Veal Lady. Let's 
stand on her table. Disrespect her. Anyways, you got two Riven mods that you can pick up here. You can see I already purchased mine. Every couple of days, she's got a new rotation. Well, it's not really new, but it refreshes and you can buy them again. But you can buy two Riven mods. You can even buy some Kuva if you wanted to. And she's got credits and a decoration for your Orbiter or your Dojo, I guess. Wherever you want to put it. Rails Donda. Anyways, that's two Riven mods that you can pick up pretty easily. Now another place you can pick up a Riven mod is in the Relay. I'm going to go over here and talk to Cephalon Samaris' little kiosk thing. Scroll Please down a little bit and you can get a companion Riven mod from here. And if for some reason you don't have your Umbral mods, you sold them off or you did something with them or dissolved them or whatever you did with them, you can pick up your Umbral mods here, but you're going to have to spend a lot of standing to get them back. Now the next place you can potentially get a Riven mod is up here in your navigation. You want to go to your sortie if you have access to this yet. If you run all three of your missions, you can see the common drop has either an item sculpture or a ribbon mod. Now, the next set of mods we're going to talk about are the Amalgam mods. Now, out of all of these, you can pick up five of these by farming the Ropalist on Jupiter. Once you're able to farm the Ropalist, you can potentially get regular Wisp part drops, or you can get five different Amalgam mods, and I'll put those up on the screen for you. You can get the Ripka's True Steel, the Javlock Magazine Warp, the Furex Body Count, the Daiku or the Daiku Target Acquired mod, which I don't know if I said that right. And of course, the Organac Metal Auger. Now you can get all five of those Amalgam mods by farming the rope list over and over again. Now, if you're wanting Shotgun Barrage, Serration, Organ Shatter, or Barrel Diffusion, you're going to have to wait until the event Thermia Fractures comes around again. So you can check for that in your navigation up here where we've got the actual Star Days event that's going on right now. It'll have Thermia Fractures that you run on Venus down here. And then you'll have to run so many fractures to be able to get those. And then at the end, you can get your new weapon, the Opticore Vandal, if you haven't done it yet. Now let's go over Prime Mods. How do you get Prime Mods? Well, you gotta wait for Barrel to come into town. Or into a relay. Then once he's there, make sure you have enough Ducats and credits, and you can just purchase them from him. Now that's with the exception of a couple different Prime Mods that you can only get for logging in so many days in a row. Like Day 400 or something like that, you can get Prime Sure-Footed. You can get Prime Vigor from a login reward, and there's a couple others that you can get from actually logging in. Now the rest, like Prime Continuity or Prime Flow, those are all just Barrel mods. You're going to have to wait for Barrel to come into town and see what he's got and try to pick him up. Now after the Prime mods, I'll show you how to pick up these Archon mods right here. Now I've only got two, because I didn't bother picking up the rest, but I'll show you where you can get all of them. Now to be able to pick these up, you got to make sure you have the New War quest completed and Veal Breaker. Now once you have both of those quests completed, you can actually switch between your Orbiter or landing on Earth. So right here, we got the Drifter's Camp, so we can click on that. Let's switch to Drifter's Camp. Then we go down the ramp, go up here to where it's marking us. It always does because it's showing us where Call is. But you want to run missions with Call right here. So he's got little objectives he's got to complete. So defeat this guy, Call go fast, complete the mission under 15 minutes, man the guns. You got to complete those. You can see you can be rewarded little things called stock. Now, once you have enough stock saved up, you can come over here and talk to Chipper, but he's only got one option, which is Browse Wares, and he sells a bunch of different things in here. You can get Steinex parts, you can get the Archon mods, so continuity, you can get Flow, Vitality, Intensify, you can get Stretch, and then if you scroll down, he's got a bunch of other stuff in here. You can even get an extra Archon Shardy tweak, which I've been kind of slacking on. Now, with Archon mods done, let's talk about probably some of the best mods you can get in the game. Galvanized mods. We've got things like Galvanize Hell, Got Galvanized Shot. All these mods. Let me show you those real quick. All right, so the reason I saved this one for last is because it's probably going to be one of the longest farms to be able to get to. It's because you have to be able to unlock Steel Path. Now, to unlock Steel Path, the way you do that is you want to go to every planet and complete every single... I don't know why I have her. I'm just trying to relay. But you want to complete every single mission on each planet. And once you're done with Earth, you want to go over here to Venus, complete every single little mission. If you see a blue flashing dot, do it. You want to make sure you're even checking over here in the Zeremon, make sure you've got all these quests done. And now also, since the Whispers in the Wall, you've got to make sure you have these over here around the Sanctum completed as well. Don't forget about the Kuva Fortress. It's over here hiding somewhere, or maybe on the left, or maybe down below. It's hiding somewhere. Make sure you got all those missions completed as well. And then once you've completed every single mission, make sure you go to Earth. Let's go to the Strata Relay. Then we want to go talk to Teshin. Then once you talk to him, you should be able to do Steel Path. Now he's got the option to do Steel Path Honors, which gives you the option to get an extra Riven mod if you want it. He's got primary and secondary arcane adapters, which you're going to want to. But after you've done all that, unlock Steel Path, what we're looking for is up here in your navigation, go to your alerts, is this little thing right here called Arbitration. 
Now, once you do these, you're going to kill little drones in the mission. They have a chance to drop Vitus Essence, which are affected by resource boosters. So you can potentially double up on that. But you want to get this Vitus Essence. And once you have a stack of Vitus Essence, come over here. You don't have to come here, but this is the fastest way to get to the Arbiter's Pexus. So let's you visit them. And then once you land, you're going to go back up the stairs, talk to this guy here on the left. And then if you scroll down here, not only does he have a bunch of these different mods here, but he's got the galvanized mods down there at the bottom. These are the ones you're going to want to pick up. But if you're wanting to look through the rest of it, he's got an arc gun ribbon mod if you want to pick that up. And then up here, he's got energizing shot, mending shot. But what you're probably looking for is things like rolling guard, maybe even vigorous swap if you want to use that for something. He's got preparation to give you more energy when you first start out in your mission. Yada yada. So make sure you guys check that out too. And that's how you farm a bunch of different mods in Warframe. So hopefully that helps you guys out. And if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. If I forgot to mention something, throw it down in the comments. Then if you're wanting to watch something else Warframe related, make sure you check out that video over there.